So the problem says a particle of charge negative 8.7 microcoulombs has a velocity of 550 meters per second and that velocity lies in the xy plane making an angle of 65 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis, as shown. There's a constant magnetic field, it says, of 1.3 teslas parallel to negative y. What are the magnitude and direction of the force on the particle? So I'm going to go ahead and finish the drawing. And I'm just going to draw the rest of the directions here, negative x, negative y, and negative z. So here's negative x, negative z, and negative y. Now they're going to say that there's a constant magnetic field parallel to negative y, so they're talking about a field which points this direction. And it's just going to be like a uniform field throughout the whole thing, but I'm just going to draw one vector. All right, so we've got that. And our formula for magnetic force says Fm equals QV cross B. So when we rewrite it for the magnitude, we can do this. But this time, we definitely have to include the sine of an angle between the vectors. And it is the angle between them, not the 65. So we have to find this angle, which is the theta between. All right, so that takes a little bit of three-dimensional geometry. You got to know that there's there's going to be 90 degree right angles between any of these coordinate axes. So that means that this little piece here is 90 from B to X. And then you just want to add the 90 plus the 65. So the theta between V and B is 90 degrees plus 65 degrees, which is 155 degrees. So that's the angle to use in this problem. Okay, well, uh, now we can just plug in everything that we have. So, magnetic force will be negative 8.7 microcoulombs times a velocity of 550 times a B field strength of 1.3 Teslas. And then we'll do sine 155. The whole point of rewriting it like this is just to get the strength of it. And then we'll use right hand rule or left hand rule to determine the direction. I'm getting 0 0.00263 newtons for the magnitude. And now we have to do the direction. So the direction is a little tricky in this case. And it is a negative charge. So that's something to consider. I'm going to use left hand rule for it. So you want your pointer pointing in the direction of velocity, first of all. OK. 
Okay. Now my middle has to stay in the plane of the xy plane. All right, now they're saying that the xy plane is like this. So as a tabletop, it would look like this. Now my middle finger has to be in that plane because the B field is in that plane. But the question is, would I want my middle finger to point in this direction? or this direction. See the middle has to be uh, 90 degrees to the pointer. So the middle either points in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4. Yeah, okay, so your quadrant 2 is over here. This is quadrant 1. This is quadrant three, and then quadrant four is over here. So you want your middle to point in quadrant four. Like this one is not the right one. Some people have the technique of pointing the pointer in the direction of V and then letting the middle finger curl toward B. So just for a minute, imagine the middle finger is not drawn yet. You've got your left hand pointing this way. Okay, so here's all your other fingers down here. Right, and if your middle is right here, then people will say, can you curl the middle finger toward the B direction? See, the B vector pointed this way. So you wanna get your middle to go toward that, is the idea. And what it ends up making is it makes a middle finger that points this way. And you got your other fingers like that. But anyway, um, what happens is our result is definitely up. So that's going to be the direction of the magnetic force on this particle. Yeah. All right, so it's positive k hat.